Okay guys, so quick bit to add in uh, <laughs> before this video starts. We finally found the site Tricyclone. <laughs> Chris has been telling me uh, about this for ages and uh, quite often in my videos you can see it floating past but we never managed to catch it or I never noticed it. So there we go, we finally have the Tricyclone. Now if you uh, had thought that I'd closed the game before saving it in the last episode, you'd be right. So I now have to go back and do all that stuff again. But anyway, there we go, Chris. We did it. We did it. We got the Tricyclone. So Tricyclone, a dangerous strip, strip it of cyclones. Sailors have uh, dreaded the legendary Tricyclone for centuries. It is said that if you encounter it, all you can do is pray. However, it's also said that in the center lies a treasure of a thousand air pirates. And there we have it, guys. The Tricyclone. Anyway, now I'm going to go and basically do everything we did in the last video again. So, and then we'll carry on. Found another one, guys. Boom. You found the Southern Cross. A mysterious cross-shaped island. I've lost where I am now. Probably full screen the game as well. Didn't actually plan on uh, recording these, but there we go. Didn't plan on finding these off camera. Uh, a mysterious cross-shaped island. The building that sits atop it is said to be a remnant of the purple civilization. Legends say that the long arm of the cross points towards the location of the civilization. Ah, but nobody's ever confirmed it. How interesting. Maybe we should examine that. Anyway, let's go find some more discoveries. Well, we didn't have to go far. You have found the deep snow. In the sky, deep beneath the lands of ice, a white substance rises up from beneath the clouds like some sort of secret fountain. It only ever appears in one specific place, making it even more difficult to understand. Hmm. Right. The hunt continues. Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Uh, I forgot to... Uh, I forgot to save after the last video, like an absolute moron. So I'm currently replaying everything that I've already done. But I'm going to start recording the next video because we've got a lot of discoveries to find. And that is exactly what we're doing. So, let's go. And I'm probably not going to have any fancy edits in this video either because there's probably going to be a lot of them. So what have we got here? You have found the Rainbow Island. What lies at the end of the rainbow? It's a question everyone asks when they're young. But as they grow older, it is often forgotten perhaps the only few who remember can find the legendary island at the end of the rainbow mm. so there we go anyway on to the next well that didn't take long this one isn't even uh <laughs> on my map or isn't even in my notes to find next the iron star a strange object said to be launched by an ancient civilization of the red moon its purpose has long been forgotten but legends say its eye could see the entire world even now sailors navigate by its rhythmic flashing light Ooh, so it's a satellite basically interesting next discovery look oh jellyfish too might as well swipe a few of these bad boys only bees all right well that's fine Yank. I guess they're ours now. So here we go. You found the Moonstone Lake. A truly rare sight. A waterfall that runs through a vein of moonstone. 
The water plunges from above to carry away bits of moonstone, and it's said to have mystic attributes. It is believed that those who drink the waters enjoy a long life. Okay, nice. Anyway, on to the next. Okay, so apparently we've got another discovery here somewhere. Or at least there should be. Yeah, man. Where are you? There you are. Right, what have we got? You have found the Al uh, Alupus, apparently. An ancient species that predates the Ixitacan civilization, the uh, Alupus lives quietly in the forest. Their calm, proud demeanor has earned them the name Sages of the Forest. Sages of the Forest, eh? I like it. They're also known for choosing their mates for life. Hmm, interesting. Right, anyway, on to the next one. Okay, so, next one. <clears throat> you have found the observatory. A civilization once flourished in this land, under the green moon. The observatory, built on the Ixitacan Plateau, speaks to their advanced study of astronomy. But they could do not but watch as a shower of moonstones destroyed their culture. Yeah, pretty savage. Right, look what I found. Dead ahead. It's the rock. Actually looks really cool, I might say. To be fair, let's have a crack at this guy. Haven't actually looked up any strategies or anything. We're just gonna ab at him. See what happens. What, what is that thing? I've never seen a bird this big before. I don't know, but it looks like he's hungry. Look at the talons on the boy. Right. Uh, let's give him... Give him some cannons. See, uh, see what happens, shall we? Uh, oh, what should we do as well? Um, might be worth speed wax. Yeah, I, I have a feeling speed wax is going to be useful here, and possibly what are we looking for here? Repair kit, alpha wax. Right, yeah. So defense as well for two turns. And we're going to go for some gear grease as well. Uh, was it rudder grease? Nope, we want gear grease. There we go. Alright, let's have a look. See what we're playing with here. Miss. Brilliant. That thing looks amazing, by the way. I'm sure it's a rock. But I don't know. We're going to want all the buffs, I think, for this guy. Blast voice. Let's see what we're working with. What sort of damage can we expect? Okay. Not bad. We can handle that. We can happily handle that. I like the bridge of the ship. It looks so cool, the way it juts out like that. Bit of a weak spot, you would have thought, but there we go. Bit of gear grease. Lovely. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to hit this thing. Another round of blast voice. So, it's going to probably do 2k damage, I reckon. Nope. Well, yeah. About 2k. So having uh, Incrim really helps. That scream, it's too powerful. It's going to tear the ship apart. It's still coming after us. He must be really, really hungry. Yeah, I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Um, right. So. Let's see if we can hit it with our cannons. What we're going to do, let's... Possibly defend on that turn. Uh, and I guess try the Arc Whale Torpedo. Maybe. 
see how that goes and then if we drop some more gear grease there so we should be okay yeah it's gonna oh no we hit oh not actually that tough he's tough enough but uh i thought this would um be way harder now this could hurt this could really hurt or you know it could also not really hurt that much so i yeah so evasive action doesn't seem to do an awful lot So perhaps we need to do something else. Oh, the Arc Whale torpedoes hurt. They really hurt it. I like the way that blast voice kind of just makes the ship kind of float there, paralyzed. Looks quite cool. Waiting orders, what should we do? Take that thing straight on. Let's do it. Let's aim for its head. Well, I suppose we have to take a risk sometime. Just watch for its attacks, okay? Yes, we should be all right. Excellent. Right, let's give it a taste of the old Moonstone Cannon. And... I guess guard is the best thing that we can really do on that turn and then we'll go for some more gear grease I mean our health is fine really I, mean, I guess we could throw in a complete kit there just uh, in case he's got any nasty surprises up his sleeve That's if he can survive this, which I doubt. Okay, he did, but not by much. That really kind of vaporized him. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're probably massively... Well, I'd say we're possibly over-leveled for this. Um, we should have done him earlier on in the game, but technically this is the earliest opportunity. <laughs> He's going to grab us again, that's fine. Damn, overgrown chicken throwing us around like that. He's definitely hungry, that's for sure. Well, he won't be able to handle another head-on attack. Nice. All of your attacks have amounted to nothing. We can keep doing this all day. Well, at least until we run out of repair kits. Admittedly, that would last. That would take a while. Well, we missed our opportunity. But to be honest, he doesn't really do a huge amount of damage so let's pop one of those I guess we'll just hit him with our cannons and our torpedo get that defense I don't think the speed really helps that much But that did hurt quite a bit more, actually. That's okay. Yes. Hey, he's done. <laughs> he's gone into a flat spin. Exploding and burning. I take no pleasure in that victory. Yeah, we got a decent amount of money. 
pretty good amount of experience as well. We've got a wooden doll. Is that one of the things that Pinter was looking for? Probably patch the ship up as well. Um, let's have a little look, shall we? Let's, no. Items. Oh, we've got another Isol Seed. Increases will. I don't really know what will does. So I give it to Fina. I'm pretty sure it's magic related. Um, so wooden idol. Oh no, wooden doll. Carve a carved wooden doll, shaped like a cuddly animal, simple, cute, and adored by Fina. Ah, uh, well, okay. Fair dues. Right. So that. Oh, potentially, actually. We could go and take on the giant looper. And there's the rock's egg. This could be rough though. So we're going to drop a save. This giant looper apparently does insanity levels of damage. Now, Games Librarian has given me some information for this fight. And I have got it written down. Although I didn't have it up. <laughs> because um, I was not expecting to get into this battle here. Oh, what have we got? Looper's Nest. Okay. Loopers are mysterious creatures rarely seen, even by the most seasons of sailors. They nest in stone reefs and their young stay in their nests until they mature. Loopers are white at birth but turn various colours as they age. Interesting. So, the giant looper, where are you? Pretty sure. I don't know if you actually see the giant looper, to be honest. Let's have a look. Nope. Oh man, this apparently is a really good place uh, to grind levels and money. So that might be <laughs> exploited at some point. But what we're going to do, hopefully they're not going to run away. Because that would be, oh come on. Okay, one of them ran away, that's fine. We'll go for Reign of Swords. Ah, oh, come on. Two of them ran away. So, was that actually worth it? What did we get for that? Okay, well, I mean, it was not really worth it from an XP standpoint, but we got a reasonable amount of money, I guess. And a black map. Okay. Not really worth it, I suppose. Now, what we will do, we'll f I think we'll fight the giant looper another time. Just when I've got my notes and everything, we'll save him for another day. Uh, now, we need to go down and under the value and empire for the next one. So, I'll catch you guys there. Oh, there's the giant looper. <sighs> so, he is actually... A target on the map like all the others. Let's drop a save there. In fact, is it worth save stating it? Hmm. Just because I know this guy, the trouble with the looper is he runs away. Um, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go for it. Man, they look really weird, though. <laughs> They're really weird. They're, like, robotic. Oh, boy. Well, I think what we're going to do... We're going to use... We'll use the, the wax... 
and we'll use some gear grease. And I guess we shall hit him with an ancient cannon and hit him with the Arcwell torpedo as well. So I think we have to do that. Like I say, from what I can remember, if you don't do enough damage to him in a turn, he will run away. But doing the damage to him is what holds him there, if I'm right. Does look really cool. Giant looper. Looper ring. Now, what sort of damage does that do? Yeah. That does hurt. That does sting. And I don't think we repaired our ship from the last battle. Now, from what I can remember um, as well, he doesn't actually have a huge amount of HP. Like pretty much all loopers. Right, he's, yeah, he's hidden. Son of a... That was unfortunate. Okay. Ah, we could potentially get a shot. Let's go for a complete kit. Let's go for... Some more gear grease. Um, I guess we'll try. Get another... Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know. I think we want the torpedo, don't we? But is he going to do the same thing again? So he's going to hit us with his ultimate attack, which is going to do another 5,000 odd damage. That's not too bad, actually. I think it looked worse than it actually was because we hadn't repaired ourselves. God, those complete kits are so powerful. Okay. Really need to hit him with the Moonstone Cannon. Might be our best bet, you know. Yeah, look, yeah, he's disappeared. He seems to disappear every time you go to attack. Maybe that's the rub. Oh, he's come back. Might have been a poor... Oh, no. I was going to say, poor choice of turns to disappear. Yeah, so I don't know how we're going to attack him then. I think we might just try and use the cun. Uh, the cun? Yes, the cun. Try and use the main gun. That might be all we have. Um, yeah. And then I guess even maybe he just get some more gear grease going and then maybe unload if this miss which it probably will miss try and unload everything on him next turn if we can because maybe you have to get X amount of attacks on him at once. Right, let's see what he thinks of this. Oh, that hit. Oh, he doesn't like that. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, so close. So close. So that's what we've got to do, basically. We've got to, quote, survive, I guess, until we can use our main cannon. 
I see. Unfortunately, with these ship battles, there's just so much just floating and flying around, but nothing actually happens. If they ever remade this game, they would, I would hope that they would drastically cut these down, or just speed them up. Ah, oh, he's running away, isn't he? Yep. Oh well, it got away. Looks like if we do too much damage at once, it gets scared and runs away. Ah. Right, so... Uh, Alright then, next time we'll try damaging it little by little. Really? So I guess we can't use the main gun. Ooh, that's gonna really sting. Now, where is it? Literally disappeared, hasn't it? Can we? Oh. Can we load? Uh, we can't actually load, can we? Unless we actually quit the game. Nope, what I'll do, I'll get the list of tactics that we need. And we'll have another crack at him. Yeah, we'll have another crack at him, uh, possibly in the next video. Uh, but I have a feeling that's going to be a very, very, very long battle. Okay, so we need to go across, actually we need to go underneath the value and empire. So let's get going with that. And from what I can see, there doesn't appear to be any kind of combat, like under or under or above the sky, like, at all. Which is a bit bizarre. Right, where are we? Ah, the Dark Rift. I don't think we can go under the Dark Rift, but we can go over it, I think. I think. Yep. Which is really freaking nice. I can plummet back down. There's the value in Empire, I believe. Kind of. There we go. Right. Now, what we're looking for here is over here, I think. Uh, also, we need to sell our discovery information sooner rather than later because if you don't um, you might lose the ability to get the most amount of money for it because some other pirate will discover them I don't really know how that works because I don't know whether it's game time or whether it is uh, by advancing the story I'm not really sure Ah. Can we not? Yeah, we can. I was going to say, can we not get under that? Of course we can. We can do whatever we want. Ah, wait, hang on. This is close to where there was another discovery. That ship. The flying machine. Where was the flying machine? That's the entire reason that I came back here and started doing this. Flying machine, where are you? Probably gone, like, right past it. Uh, where the hell was that flying machine? It's really annoying. What's this? What is this? Ooh, more fish. Ooh, what have we got? Value and wreckage. 20 years ago, a flagship of the Armada disappeared above northern Nasrad, near the end of the Value and Nassar War. Some theories mention a murder attempt 
on the commander of the Armada. But the mysterious disappearance has never been fully explained. Ah. I if that's tied into our friends. So we've got some value in wreckage. Yep. Doesn't look like I'm going to find that flying machine again. Not yet, anyway. God, that's annoying. Oh. Nope. That is not what we're looking for. We are looking for another thing. Which apparently is over here. What we're looking for is the dancing lights. Which should be... Over here. Ah, there they are. Perfect. Grab those. We have found the dancing lights. A natural phenomenon that can be seen underneath the Valuan continent. It is... That spun me out then. The music's still continuing. Um, <laughs> the Valuan continent. Uh, it's said to be caused by electricity from the yellow moonstones in the Valuan soil. Some say that it's caused by a giant creature that lies deep inside the ground. Yeah, that's... Ah, uh, I remember... I think I do remember what that is, actually. I'm not going to say anything. But if it is what I think it is, that's really cool. Um, right, so... I suppose the best thing to do now... Would be to go to Nasrad, I guess. And offload these discoveries. And then I shall mark on my map what we found. And we'll call it a video there. And then when we come back, we will go fight the giant looper. That should be a pretty good battle, to be honest. Like I say, I think it's going to be a very long, uh, long-winded battle. Uh, just wipe them out. Wipe them out. Good riddance. 4,000 gold. Not going to sniff at that. Okay. Let's see how much this little pot of gold's worth, eh? And of course we'll save it before we finish here. And I still have to go trade all my moon fishing. You need to remember that. Because I still haven't caught that up. Where? Ah, the, the guild was in here, wasn't it? The Sailor's Guild. Might actually get a... Oh, we're not going to get a black spot, are we? Because... Ugh. Still got all the moonfish and everything that I need to... I'll probably do that off camera in a second. And try and find that bloody discovery as well. Right. Let's see how much we can make for ourselves. Battle Lord. I like it. All right, let's see what we can sell. Wow. This is going to be worth a small fortune to us. Holy hell. Look how much the looper's nest is worth. And the wreckage. That was very profitable. Very profitable. Okay, so we can't actually can't actually buy any more information. Interesting. Okay, right. See you later, buddy. Not bad. Well, not super. Well, I don't know. I was going to say not a super productive episode, but I don't know. It kind of was in a way. Um, somehow wanted this. It's not the wanted list. Where's the journal? Ah, there it is. Discoveries. So, how many have we got? Ah, oh, we've definitely got most of them now. So, what's that? We've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 left to find. It's actually not that many, considering uh, how many we have found. Nice. Right. Anyway, guys, I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, uh, I guess we're going to go re-challenge that looper. So, till then, guys. Till then. <laughs>